they're going to have this wrapped up. I doubt their 13-game lead is going to disappear by late, you know, to middle September. September 16th, hey, the Yankees lead is down the one versus the Rays. I don't think that's going to happen. So what I'm getting at here is you start to set up your rotation on the back end. You start to give some of your players time off instead of playing six days a week out of the seven games. Maybe you play four over those final two weeks to get prepared and get refreshed for the playoffs. And also, if we're looking at that, Running mates, Kevin. The reason why last year, why the Dodgers and the Giants were so much fun to watch and putting up ridiculous numbers, because every single game mattered. Like the joke was, man, the Dodgers went nine and one and lost a game in the standings to the San Francisco Giants to how hot they were. Who's pushing the Yankees at the end of the season? Now, I did say they are extremely talented. And if they're healthy, it doesn't matter what's taking place over the final two weeks of the season. They should get this. But if I'm just looking from a perspective for myself saying, why do we really need to press that gas pedal over the final two weeks? I don't know if I see it here for the Yankees. I'll just take the under based on that. Yankees would be a good team. Yankees still might have the best team in baseball, but I don't know where that want is over the final two weeks and the need is. Do we really need these final three games or are we just wrapping up this heading into the playoffs at that point? I actually think I can give you an answer to that. 13 games up on the Rays. There's no competition. You would anticipate coming from there. If there is, then they are going to be under their win total as is. It's the four and a half game lead on the Houston Astros. Because for the Yankees, this is not about winning the AL East anymore. Honestly, Donnie, it might even arguably kind of have to do with just a three-game lead on the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Yankees are going to want home field advantage throughout. They are 37-12 and at Yankee Stadium this year. They have been fantastic playing in the Bronx, and that matters. So I still think they'll have plenty of incentive there. The Yankees also have to be one of the most aggressive buyers at the deadline. This is a franchise, obviously, everybody knows. They've won a gang of World Series. But the temperature around it has been a while. It's been a while since the Yankees, it feels like, have won a World Series there. The team in town, the New York Mets, have been to a World Series more recently than the New York Yankees. And they bring Steve Cohen in, who keeps trying to say he's going to throw around his weight. Maybe he'll bid on Aaron Judge. Maybe he's going to be bidding on a Juan Soto. The Yankees have to stay aggressive. And here is the reason why I think you can go over the 105 and a half. If you were betting on them, Donnie, to keep a 70% percentage win percentage, okay, that's a bridge too far. But 60% in terms of a win percentage, well, that's a little bit more reasonable. Pretty much all the teams we're talking about here have won 60% of their games. If the Yankees are all of a sudden playing 500 baseball, I actually think that could be a little bit of a sign of concern around them and maybe say, okay, did they kind of peak a little bit too early in the season? And I don't think that's going to be the case. 